Hello and welcome to the Canvas Fast Track. In this two and a half minute video, we will discuss how, when, and why utilizing Student View can be most beneficial for teachers when designing their course and checking for course issues. After you spend time building content over the summer break or winter break or the night before you plan to deliver the content, teachers often wonder what this will look like for students. Or an even more nerve wracking feeling is what will students see do they know what they're expected to do? Have no fear, Canvas has a student view option where you, as the teacher, can see what it looks like to be a student in your course. What do students have access to, and when do they have this access? When you place a due date on an assignment, students will receive a hyperlink in their to-do list that will show up with the items that are coming up. This to-do list will prompt students that work needs to be completed and is coming up soon. There is not a way to sort or populate this to-do list with prioritized items or filters for different courses. Once students select their assessment to submit, they'll possibly have numerous options for how they would like to submit. If they access the assessment via Assignments, there will be a Submit Assignment button. If they access it via their to-do list, it will immediately take them to the Submission option. Depending on what the teacher sets up for the submission options, a student will see their options. As a teacher, you can view these options in the test student space. You'll also be able to see Dropbox and Box. Bear in mind, one of the most confusing issues with student view and looking at the assignment option is not being able to see the Google Drive integration or the Office 365 integration. As students will have to authorize Canvas to access these spaces, then they will become a homework submission option for students. Due to the test student being a dummy account and not a full Canvas account, there is not an option to view Google Drive or Office 365. The final item we want to cover with you all is deleting the test student. Because the test student creates a line in the gradebook, a test student in the speed grader, and will not allow you to unpublish an assignment once submitted to, you can delete the test student account. Resetting the test student will not delete the action of submission. It will just clear out all of the submissions. Where deleting the test student from the course will disable the submission status and allow a teacher to unpublish coursework. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment below with any requests or suggestions you have for future Fast Track series.